On November 14, 2011, Soyuz TMA-22 launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Gagarin Start Launch Pad at Baikonur Cosmodrome in blizzard-like conditions with temperatures as low as negative 5 degrees Celsius. This was the first launch of a Soyuz FG rocket after the Progress M12 failure and the last flight of the Soyuz TMA model. Space Station due for your rendezvous and docking on Tuesday. Visiting vehicle officer reporting good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. Stage one thrusters. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It is burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Not about copy you. As their fellow Expedition 29 colleagues head up toward the International Space Station, they'll be docking with Orbiting Complex coming up on Tuesday evening. Parameters are nominal. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Soyuz TMA-22 docked with the Poisk module on November 16, 2011. The crew joined the Expedition 29 crew already aboard station. After 165 days in space, hatches between Soyuz TMA-02M were closed and the spacecraft carrying Expedition 29 Commander Mike Fossum and Flight Engineer Satoshi Furukawa and Sergei Volkov undocked from the Rosviet module on November 22, 2011. After separation, the Soyuz started a five-minute deorbit burn, sending the spacecraft towards its landing on the windy and snow-covered steppes of Kazakhstan under the clear sky just before sunrise. A month later, on December 21, 2011, Soyuz TMA-03M launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Like Soyuz TMA-22, the launch occurred in bitterly cold weather with temperatures near negative 18 degrees Celsius. And lift off, lift off of the Soyuz 29 spacecraft that is taking Don Pettit, Oleg Kononenko, and Andre Kuypers to the International Space Station. stage performance. The Soyuz is delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter, and it's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. All data shows a normal launch and Climb into orbit. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Soyuz TMA-03M docked to the Rosviet module on December 23, 2011, and the crew became part of Expedition 30.
On January 23rd, 2012, Progress M13M, which had been docked for 82 days, undocked from the Pierce module. It flew into a higher orbit and released the Chibis M satellite, designed to study gamma radiation in atmospheric lighting, before Progress M13M deorbited over the Pacific Ocean two days later. The first launch to the ISS in 2012 was Progress M14M, launching atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at Baikonur Cosmodrome on January 25th. And liftoff of the ISS Progress 46, the 46th resupply ship to the International Space Station. Seconds into the flight, roll and pitch program initiated. Nominal performance so far from the first stage. The vehicle is stable according to the reports being received from the Russian Mission Control Center via the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Chamber pressure is nominal, going through maximum dynamic pressure, downrange. Roll pitch and yaw on the vehicle is all by the book. 70 seconds into the flight, the flight is reported to be nominal. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Progress M14M docked to the Pierce module without incident on January 28, 2011. On February 16, 2012, Russian crew members Oleg Kononenko and Anton Shkaplerov performed the first spacewalk of 2012, moving one of the station's Strela cranes from the Pierce module to the Poisk module. The astronauts also installed new debris shields and materials experiments on the exterior of the ISS. On March 23, 2012, Eduardo Amaldi, the European ATV cargo vessel, launched atop an Airane 5 launch vehicle from the Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana. Well, we lost her to the low clouds early, but in a blaze of light, there she is coming back out of the clouds. Roaring off the path. The DDO says everything is normal, propulsion and trajectory. In a blaze of light and a trail of gold as Ariane 5 reaches into the skies above French Guiana on her way to deliver ATV-3, which will make her way to the International Space Station next week. After five days in orbit, the ATV docked to the aft port of the Svezda. The ATV resupplied the Expedition 30 crew aboard the station and boosted the station's orbit. Navigates with four main engines and 28 smaller thrusters that are located uh, all over the vehicle. There's eight racks inside that actually carry up standard uh, standardized equipment to the space station. Now we can see the target very well again. Okay, copy. After nearly four months docked, Progress M14M undocked from the Pierce module on April 19, 2012. Progress M14M spent additional time in orbit carrying out the radar progress experiment before being deorbited and re-entering on April 28th over the Pacific Ocean. Main engine start has been initiated. The day after Progress M14 undocked, April 20th, 2012, 
Progress M15M launched atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Main engine start and liftoff. Liftoff of the 47th Progress resupply vehicle to the International Space Station. Good first stage performance being reported. Good roll and pitch program. All thrusters are reported to be functioning nominally. It continues its uh, flight uphill to deliver the progress into its preliminary orbit. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Progress M15M docked at the Pierce module on April 22nd, 2012. Uh, so again, this camera currently on board that Progress as the International Space Station is coming fully into view, just over half a kilometer away now from its eventual docking to the Pierce compartment. Final approach and docking mode. Okay. If you look at the bottom left quadrant, you can see that top number slowly counting down. Or it's a Again, just over half a kilometer, so about 500 meters away from its eventual docking port. After five months aboard docked to the station, Soyuz TMA-22 undocked from the Poisk on April 27, 2012, carrying Burbank, Shkapilarov, and Ivanishin, and landed safely in Kazakhstan the same day. Spacecraft's departure ended Expedition 30, and left astronauts Oleg Kononenko, Andrei Kuypers, and Dan Petet aboard the station to begin Expedition 31. A major milestone for Expedition 31 was the arrival of the first Dragon cargo resupply vehicle. 